Hello, I'm Philip and I want to explain a little bit about this blog post that I've made. So I thought I'd make a video so it makes it a bit easier for you to understand what's going off. So it's about writing good website content. If you've got a small business, one of the most confusing things is what should I put on my website? So you've got to think about the questions going through your customers' minds when they arrive on your website. And the things they're thinking are things like, is this website useful to me? So when they land on your website, they'll think, is this any use to me? Then if they think, well, yeah, this website is what I'm looking for, they'll think, can they really do the job? If you, you've got to convince them of that, then you've got to convince them, can I trust them to get the job done? And do they work with people like me? And then do I like them? You've got to convince them that you're likable. Now, I'm going to show you one of my competitors' websites. I shouldn't really do this, but there you go. This is Saltair Web Design. But if you have a look at what they're doing, it's really quite good. So, to start with, they're explaining web design in Bradford from only three, well, £299. So, straight up front and honestly, they're saying, from £299, we can build you a website. And then they're saying, look, we've done these websites for other people. Now, some of these I'm sure were more than £200 for 299 This one's quite a, a lot of content in it. Um, but basically, you can click on any of these and have a look at what they've made for other people. So you can see... Uh, let's have a look. Th this one's a good one because it's got a lot of content inside, so I'll just, have a, just show you. Now, I don't think they'll have done this for £299, but it's a good-looking website. Let's go back and see something else. Um, if you've got a smaller business with a smaller budget, let's have a look at that one. There's only three pages, but there might be all you need. So you don't want to be paying more than you need to if you only need a small site. So scroll down the page and they make it very obvious what you get. A basic website, £300. Deluxe, £500. And e-commerce, £700. So it's up front and all it tells you all the bits and bats you get. So you, you, you get a good idea of what you pay and what you get. What others are saying about this Saltair web design. Extremely happy. Really happy. Um, just letting you know that people, real people actually appreciate what they've done. And then this is a list of what they do. Specialized services. Search engine optimization. E-commerce online advertising, sites for mobiles, and then a bit about the, the process to go through. So, there are loads and loads of examples like that. Uh, th this is a fellow called Chris Garrett, and he's a, a big hitter on the, on the internet. He, he knows what he's doing, does Chris Garrett. But if you look here, um, I work with business owners and entrepreneurs to help them build a lasting, profitable relationship with audiences who grow to know and like and trust them so that's what his job is is to to get your audience to like and trust you to know like and trust you this one is bill erickson bill erickson is a bit of an internet legend um, and he, what he does he, he, he converts um designs into he, he adds the code to designs when you're making a website that there's two parts so the actual look of the site and then there's a code that makes it work and bill erickson makes the code that makes it work um but it tells you exactly what it does from design to website in five days so you give him the design which is basically if you draw on a piece of paper what you wanted he would make the code to make it work uh, he, make, he makes mobile responsive designs which are for mobile phones um, commercial theme development so if you want to sell the, the, you can sell what's called themes um, and it's just basically it's a web design that you sell to loads and loads of different people so you design it once and sell it, you know, maybe a hundred or a thousand times. But basically he's doing the same sort of thing. He's telling you exactly what he offers and what it costs. It tells you somewhere how much it costs. It's between two and a half and five thousand dollars usually. I'm not sure where it put that, but it's somewhere. Um, so let's get back to our little script and see what we do. So when someone arrives on your website, First of all, they want to know, have you got a unique selling point? Is there anything special about you that nobody else is offering? If there is, if you've got something special, put it up front and obvious. Make sure they know. 
tell them who you work with. Do you work with big businesses, small businesses, homeowners? Do you work with landlords or whoever it is that your main, main clients are? Tell them. What would it be like to work with you? So you want it to you want you want to make it sound like a bit e you're easy to work with and pleasant to work with, and uh, a stress free relationship with your customers. Um, what services or products do you offer? Make sure they know exactly what you do. Case studies and testimonials they're always good. About us and contact us. You got to have about us and contact us page. We'll just have a little bit about what a unique selling point is. A unique selling point is something you offer and your competitors don't. So if you offer, suppose you're a steeple jack and you're the only bloke who goes above 500 feet high on mill chimneys or whatever it is, uh, tell people so that they know that there's only you does this. Um, so a unique selling point, you need something, if it's something you offer and your competitors don't, that's good. Um, it's got to be important to your customers. There's no point having a unique selling point that your customers don't care about. It's got to be something that really care, they, they really care about. And it's got to be something for your competitors that your competitors can't really compete with. So ideally, you want, you want something special just about you, something that not everybody could do. And you want to be able to explain it simply so people can understand. You don't want to spend half an hour explaining what your unique selling point is. Um, here are some very sort of well-known unique selling points. There's Federal Express Shipping Company and their unique selling point is that when it absolutely positively has to be there overnight, so it's not just shipping, it's overnight shipping. There's a, a, a business called Finder and Finder helps college students find jobs. Doesn't help everybody find jobs, helps college students find jobs. So that's their unique selling point. And I thought this one was good. Head and Shoulders Shampoo you get rid of dandruff. Now I don't know if they guarantee that, but uh, if they do, it's a good selling point. So in a nutshell, when you write your content, this is what you want to do, you want to be concise, don't waffle, get to the point fast, and make your information easy to find. Use headlines and subheadlines that explain exactly what each section of the page is about, so your customers are not confused. Um, don't put more than one big idea in a single paragraph. So don't have loads and loads of information that confuse, don't overwhelm your, your, uh, your website users. Parcel your words into understandable bite-sized chunks. And what else? I make, it, make your content easily and quickly accessible. Make it so they don't have to fish around for ages looking for the information they need. Well, I hope that's helped you. And uh, do, do pop over and have a look at my... Uh, the web page I'm going to put the video at the top of this web page so and I'm hoping this video will help it help make the website the web page a little bit easier to understand thanks for watching and bye for now